What's up guys and welcome back. Now I've done a lot of puzzles on this channel, but today's puzzle is very special. There's a German locksmith puzzle maker named Rainer Pop. Rainer is famous for making one lock puzzle a year. And to get one of these locks, you have to be extremely lucky because you're basically entered in a lottery, you receive an email, and once you have that email, you have a chance to purchase one of these locks, which are not cheap. I myself wasn't lucky enough to be part of this uh, email lottery. However, my friends over at Puzzle Master had one left in stock. What I'm gonna read next is an excerpt from a blog called Boxes and Booze. I'll link the blog below, uh, but this guy puts into words exactly why this puzzle is so special. Because of his skill and creativity, many believe that he is the greatest puzzle lock maker living today. He hand turns and mills every piece he designs himself from solid brass and stainless steel. His limited edition locks, which he names simply in a numbered sequence starting from his first trick lock, T1, had become highly sought after collector items. He may truly have outdone himself with the latest offering, the T11, which has been hailed as the greatest trick lock ever created. This lock is large at 140 millimeters high and heavy weighing in at two kilos it is fashioned like a medieval fortress with a solid fortification and studs all over. As you explore and discover, you are reminded more of a concentric castle from the Middle Ages, a castle within a castle, if you will. And the key to the castle is also, also a thing of beauty, large and stylish with a clever T11 logo imprinted on the tip, which is somewhat ironic as there is no obvious keyhole. You are given one hint along with the lock, which is to use the key in the keyhole. Hmm. This lock is an inspiration from Yale's Magic Lock, a famous lock mechanism invented around 1850 by Linus. Yale Jr., one of the pioneers of modern day mechanical locks. There are many steps required and they're fitting for a trick lock as they are rem reminiscent of picking a lock, requiring perfectly precise positioning and timing. There are so many unexpected movements and amazing developments in this puzzle and even a leap of faith which is rewarded for the true panic. T11 is truly one louder than the rest. Compared to other locks like the Dan Lock, which might be described as scoring a 10 on 10 point scale, this goes to an 11. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to try and solve the greatest puzzle lock in history. Ooh, I just got the chills. Let's go. Ow. This is it. Oh my, dude, this thing weighs. This thing is so heavy. Look at that, look at that. It's so heavy. And it comes with this key, which is a really neat key. Okay, so I have no clue where to start on this. I'm um, noticing right now that this thing turns and there's a little black dot, as you can see, a little black dot and the black dot goes from here to here, here to here. This one spins either direction to infinity. This one as well, you do not move. This one is a little bit loose on the top. This one does not turn. These do not turn and these do not turn. So the only moving part, there's a bit of a gap here. So I know that that might want to. So that probably could have something to do with this. I also hear that there are traps. There's traps in here that are like impossible to get out of. So hopefully I don't fall into any of those traps. Also, you can pull it out a little bit, this one. Just a tad bit. Oh, here we go. Oh baby, look at that, right there. So, th oh, that one comes out. Okay, what does that mean? Maybe I'll pull this one out like that. And now, maybe these three pegs here lock these three pegs. Ow. I'm holding onto this one because I'm, it's the only really, the only moving thing that I've discovered aside from this one turning here. Hoping that by pulling it and doing something else, it'll it'll help me out. It's really giving me nothing to go on here. The key is interesting. What if there's a magnet? It's not seem to be a magnet there. Wait, I know. That's what we gotta do. We gotta spin it. Maybe not. You know what I forgot? I forgot the timer. Always forget the timer. I think we were probably already like 10 minutes in. Oh, now this one's turning. This one wasn't turning before. This one turns too? Okay. Now it stopped turning. There's something heavy in there. Now this is turning. Okay. So the way to open this uses these knobs on the side because these knobs here are now turning. Hmm. Like these three on this side, there's like a clear resistance so when I start turning them, like they're, they're like pulling or pushing onto something heavy or weighing down. And then depending on that, I'm sure it affects these bolts here. How do I know which one's affected? This button pushes in a tad bit. Like, I mean, I could probably just unscrew these bolts, <laughs> uh, but I won't do that. Where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in any of this, to be honest right now? I feel like I'm just going around in circles. It's starting to hurt my fingers. 
This key's not made in one solid piece, so I don't know if it comes apart or it's just made to look like that. Oh my god. It's giving me nothing. That's it's just this is clearly the side that's gonna have to like come off and move. Hmm. Now they're stuck. They're like heavy. I'm trying different orientations. Let's see if that'll work. This one is so hard to turn. I don't know if it's because it's missing grease or. So it was a few hours later in the day, I decided to come back to this, take a little break, got caught up in some work. So I've had a few thoughts while I was away. Uh, often times if you just stop, you can think of uh, maybe something else. So this one pulls out and this one turns like this. That's it, it stops here, goes here. So it's like a quarter turn. This one just turns randomly without any resistance whatsoever. On the other side, these ones all turn um, but there is a bit of resistance, especially this last one here. It turns, but like, it's, it's, there's something heavy attached to that. It makes it really hard to turn. So I'm gonna just try turning these in different ways. It doesn't really do anything. Also, I'm just constantly checking the uh, front part to see if anything might unhinge. Oh, weird. So this little, it's not a button really, but I feel like it's loose, this here. But if I push in and up, it gets stuck. I don't know what that means. I feel like that's just like, oh, this thing. I feel like that's just the uh, the mechanism on the inside. Why didn't I just put it there in the first place? Whoa. For every puzzle video, right there. Why not? This is, there's like a bar in here tapping this stuff. This is gonna bug me if I go to bed tonight and I don't open it. If I look on the inside, I can see those pegs, especially this one here, I can see that. I don't know what to try. This one has to be the first one to like, I have to find a way to unlock whatever way that is. This thing is pretty cool looking though, isn't it? It's very cool looking. Something very interesting upon very close inspection is that you're not gonna, I don't know if you can see this, but the lines underneath this brass piece, all right, let it focus. The lines underneath that brass piece um, makes it so that this couldn't be pushed down because like this piece is bigger than the hole that's underneath. But on the on this side, it looks like, and I can probably confirm that, the hole is bigger than this on all three here. It doesn't look like the hole is, uh, yeah, underneath, it's definitely. So these, either these push in or this comes out somehow. Same goes for here. I don't know if that means anything or, hmm. Maybe not, I don't know. Notice the second I push on it and I, I can't twist it. I can only twist it if it's out. If I start pushing on it just even a little bit, there's no twisting them. I just keep trying the same things over and over again, expecting different results, hopefully unlocking a random pattern that opens this, but I, I, I just don't know where to go from here. We've gotten to this, this, and then these things turn. This is the only one that seems like it's not attached to anything. Oh, oh, did I just spin that top? Ah, <gasps> now this one's stuck. It won't pull out anymore. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. This one maybe? So this is, look, look, it's not stuck on there anymore. Something changed. This one seems to be moving. Oh, <laughs> see, it just popped in and now this is out again. Okay, so I was here, lift this, Turn this. Why is it working? I was here. How come I can't recreate it? That's interesting. It's like you just sat a lot. It's literally, look at it's 10 p.m. And I'm sat here figuring this thing out. And that I was not expecting before going to bed. That's it. That's all I did. And then it like turned more and it locked in there. 
I think that's pretty frustrating. I'm gonna have to go look back at this footage and see what I did. Hmm. This is really hurting my fingers to be honest. This is like pulling this like one thing here. So I figure if I pull this one, but not all the way, cause it got stuck for a second and I think, there we go. So I pull, it gets stuck. Now this one turned more. We're in a position where that's stuck, that is good. Now what do we do? I don't know. Maybe play with these ones. There's something happening here on the inside. I can feel like this tension. Again, so the only thing I figured out is this. There. So this normally only does like a 90 degree spin. Now it does like a 180 when I pull that one up and not all the way. And there, I have no idea what to do. This whole panel here, you can feel that like there's some give, whereas this one over here, completely solid. I know that this moves out of the way. I can tell, I can just tell there's a hole here. This moves out of the way. This side, I'm not so sure about probably as well. I just need to know how to get this away. Maybe that's the last part. I don't know. Oh, oh, what? Oh, hello. Hello, keyhole. Oh my God. God, this thing is glorious. Look at that. All right, well now, obviously. <laughs> oh, this comes off, okay. So I know for a fact that this puzzle contains traps, okay? This puzzle is known to have a few traps. So basically, if, if I do the wrong thing, it's gonna put me in a trap, which will make it twice as hard for me to get out of. And uh, this is just so obvious that I feel like it's going to be a trap. Uh, here I go. Oh, nothing. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, my, oh no, my key's stuck. Oh no, okay, whew. Okay, so for some reason, nothing happens. I can put it in and I can just kind of turn it and it stops there, right there. For no reason, there is nothing else I can do. Can't go the other side, no. So, maybe push this in and then turn. No, oh, no, it won't turn at all. Maybe turn these to unlock the key, I don't know. It's so crazy. What? Okay, well now, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have an extra piece. Oh, maybe two extra pieces? Okay, what is happening? Now, okay, this changes everything. This makes things way more complicated, but also changes everything. So, we have this, and I notice at the top here, there is a hole that doesn't fit in there. Okay, there's gotta be a hole for this to fit somewhere, right? Am I right or am I right? Well, I've turned it more, I think. Okay, so this is the starting position. It stops here, but if I pull back, I can turn it even further. Maybe this unlocks the other side. Maybe that's what happens. I think I'm just gonna fix my key again because it's a lot easier. I knew there was something up with the key, all right? I knew it. <clears throat> you doubted me, but I knew it. One thing I've noticed is that when I push in here, this guy moves around, this here. But that doesn't really help me, does it? <clears throat> yeah, I felt it come out on my finger right there. Does it, is it supposed to come out? Is it supposed to go in? All right, so maybe maybe there's more to this key. Oh, 
Oh, maybe I broke it. Oh, look at that. It actually moved. It shifted. It's still shifting. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. What does that do? I don't know, but it does something. Literally just cut myself with that. I need, the thing is I need this to be in there so that I can turn it. Otherwise, it, there's not enough grip for me to turn this key. Oh, look, look it, look it, look it. I don't know what that did, but it did something. Okay. Oh. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This now, I don't know if that did that before, but it does it now. And it reveals more of these little pressure points here. Look at that, look at that. So two of these things are now here as well, and they probably move. Maybe I can use that pin again. <laughs> so it doesn't push, but when I go here, watch. Oh, wow. What the hell is going on? Look at here. So this is where it started, right? Look in here. And then if I go here. That's another keyhole. Okay. Still no turning. This is getting so exciting right now. <laughs> I'm actually literally freaking out. I'm kind of dreading putting this all back together, to be honest, because I'm not sure I remember exactly the steps, but I'll watch this video if I need to. <laughs> okay, so there's a spring. Looks like, yeah, there's a spring in the bottom of this here keyhole down there. There's a spring in there. Who comes up with this stuff? Jeez. I don't know what's happening. Okay, maybe it has to do with this piece again. Oh. oh, well, hello. That comes out apparently. There we go. We have a thing. There's a thing here and we have it. Oh, 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 man, this thing is just so intricate. Look at this. There's another piece, but now I've broken everything. I'm not sure what to do next. Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. This might be one of those traps. <laughs> okay, there's gotta be another, maybe, maybe I have to put it all back together. I don't know. I probably just spent the last half an hour, you know, looking at this thing, contemplating whether or not I should put this piece in there and how I should put it in there is another question. I'm thinking because look, in there, you're not gonna be able to see it, but there is a notch that goes further and this end here is further out. So I'm thinking, and this is like that leap of faith moment where I either drop it in this way or drop it in this way. And I'm thinking because there's that spring, which I mentioned earlier, which is further down, it might have to be this way. And I'm just gonna go for it. And I'm sure if I get stuck, I'm sure there's a way out, but here I go. And it's gone. And there's no way I'm getting that back. Okay. Oh, but now I can turn it. Okay, but now what? Huh? No. Now the trap. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Uh, <laughs> this won't turn. Now it's stuck. 
Okay, what's what's interesting is that this fits in here, right? But you can turn it any which way and it doesn't actually matter. Maybe now I have to unlock it with these sides here. If I turn this, I can kind of like, like here, and it drops down a little bit, but then it pops back up. I don't know what that means. I don't know what to do. Wait, why isn't this pushing in? What? This is stuck. Why is this stuck? This thing on the bottom seems to be moving a little bit. Oh! There's something clicking. Okay, there's something going on here. I'm in shock. I'm in total shock. Okay. Well, there you have it. Um, I'm in total disbelief right now. This puzzle is insane. This is the craziest lock puzzle I've ever come across, and that includes the Dan Lock B. Nuts, how does someone come up with this? I'm, if you saw my face right now, I gotta figure out how to get my pieces back. All right, let's start the timer. And we're back to square one, boom, two hours, baby. The T11 pop lock solved. Okay, well there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the greatest trick lock ever created. Solved in about two hours. I did take quite a few breaks during that time because there's only so much you can do when uh, solving a lot. You can't, you can't just devote, you know, uh, straight two hours. You'll go mad and you'll start there's there's just you're just looking at the same pieces over and over again it's almost like you're going around in circles uh the leap of faith part was scary and i think that's what makes this lock really great is that you much like the damn lock when you put that broken piece in you're kind of left at the mercy of this lock and being like i hope this is what i had to do a lot of people ask me where i get a lot of my puzzles i'll leave a link below where you can check out puzzles unfortunately this one is sold out and i will keep it on my shelf forever uh, so thank you for watching Hit the like button if you did like this. Subscribe if you do enjoy the content. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Rock. Right.